Hello there guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to Rosewolf. So, very late episode today. I kind of took uh, a little bit of a day off from YouTube and stuff. I will be getting to answer... I will be getting rather back to answering comments and such. And also uploading, of course, uh, later on tonight. But as of now, we have some stuff to do around Rosewolf. Uh, so, oh! Hello there! From Bob! Uh, hi Crystal, thanks for having me over the other day. It made me decide to clean up my house too, and look what I found behind my candy wrapper volcano here. You earned it, gratefully. Bob, is it your picture? Do you love me yet? Ex an extinguisher for my love for him, clearly. Um, yo Crystal, uh, I don't tell you enough how grateful I am for you, so I'm writing you this letter. You rock, thanks for being my friend. By the way, can we play hide and seek soon? I get to hide, Pajmina. I mean, you know, if you would bring up that prompt and ask me, sure. Another one from Pajmina. She really likes us. Hey there, Crystal. I have no idea why, but all of a sudden I felt like writing you. I think you're the most dependable person I know, and that means a lot coming from me. You rock. That's really random. <laughs> I, I didn't check my mail yesterday, so I don't know if that's like... Um... Uh, two letters in one day, or one from today, one from yesterday, so... That was kind of weird. Anyway, um, so if you looked at the map right now, obviously Freckles has moved out. Uh, I believe she had actually moved out before last episode, but the main focus here is that we only have eight villagers, meaning that one will be moving in sometime. It's about to chime for nine o'clock. That's kind of awkward. Let that go by. Let's see here. So, ooh, hello. Are you gonna give me like a thousand badges again all at once? Oh, oh, hello there, youngster. I find the stills of the night to be quite calming. By the way, is there something you need from me? May I have a badge? It seems you've invited people to visit this town quite a few times. Okay, that's probably from the live stream, I'm assuming. It would make this old man happy if you continue to interact with all sorts of people from other towns. That's actually kind of cool. I don't think I have that badge with my other character, surprisingly. I've got the good hostess badge. I want my town to make people want to come and visit. Uh... Do you have another one? No. Okay, good. <laughs> that was uh, that was kind of ridiculous a couple episodes ago. Anyway, uh, so yeah, as I was saying, we were actually expecting a villager to move in, and I plot reset uh, the day after Freckles moved out, and we had a villager named Peck come and put down their house, but I wasn't exactly happy with the placement, so I reset again. And again and again, but Peck never came back. <laughs> Neither did any other villagers, so I think I kind of scared him away. Um, which is kind of funny. I don't really, uh... Obviously I'm not really expecting any villagers up here or anything, it's more so just like triple thousand checking that I, you know, didn't miss out on uh, placing our clover paths anywhere. But yeah, anyway, long story short, we should be expecting a villager in, and I have left it to be random. I don't want to move in an amiibo one. It kind of almost makes the game easy. If I have a villager who I really don't like, who I want to move out, for example, uh, Freckles or Willow, um, it, it gives the game a little bit more challenge, if you know what I mean. So we only currently, I think, have like three slots a villager could move into. This one is technically a slot, but it's too close to the back end of Marshall's house to actually work. Um, the other spot is right here, and this is actually where Peck decided to go. I didn't really want him there. I wouldn't have minded him as a villager. I don't really have anything against him. I don't really know him that well either. Uh, but yeah, it feels like I kind of messed up somehow, and we don't have a villager moving in. And no one here either, so I guess, you know, we're SOL on the villagers. Uh, it's kind of funny. Oh, hi, buddy. What's up? Uh, what's the latest, dude? I wonder if there's a way to make my room look cooler. I know, Crystal. Uh, do you have any furniture you could recommend to me? Anything will do. I trust your taste. Do you want the extinguisher you sent me in the mail? You know what? No, he's Bob. We're gonna get him something special. By special, I mean we're gonna go to retail and see what they have. Uh, coral? Okay, not really interested in that. Mm. 
Do they not, like, have anything? <laughs> uh... I want to get Bob one of these only because these fascinated me as a child. I didn't understand the concept. <laughs> and it's colorful, so maybe he'll like it. Who just walked in? Oh, Robin, hello there. You don't really have interesting dialogue when you're in here, so I'm not gonna talk to you. They kind of all have like set dialogue pieces when they're in a store and you don't really get to talk to them like you know normally, so I don't really bother. Um, alright, let's see here. Bob! Bob, take your, your barber pole. I hope you like it. Please love me. Nice! I have my eyes on a barber's pole just like this one. That sounds kind of wrong. I can't wait to see how it looks! It's gonna be great. Here, take this as a thank you present. It's a small magazine rack. Thank you, Crystal. Well, I mean, you know... Thank you for not giving me your picture yet other than April Fool's Day, which doesn't really count. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the things I do for this cat's picture. Anyway, uh, I think we're gonna just focus on dailies today. I was thinking about going to the island today, but I'm not exactly sure how many people actually enjoy uh, those type of episodes. I know people enjoy it when I stream it, but episodes seem to be a bit different, so uh, we'll hold off on that for now. Um, not that we really need to focus on fossils. Maybe we'll actually find some uh, fish or bugs that we need. I can't remember if there's anything past 9 p.m. that we need. Uh, off the top of my head, and I don't have my list right here, unfortunately. Uh, oh, hello there, Gaston. Listen, something that was meant to go to Bob got sent to my house by mistake. What a nuisance, don't you think? Well, I want to ask you a favor. Can you deliver it to the right person for me? Oh my goodness, you're asking me to go to Bob? Why is this even a favor? I can do that. Pay me. No, actually, I'll pay you to do that. <laughs> no problemo. Uh, you know what? We also have to check on those blue, I think they're pansies that we have down on the beach that we were trying to breed hybrids of. Uh, when I had villagers over for the, uh, 10 hour stream, villagers, players over for the 10 hour stream, somebody, and I'm forgetting exactly who it was, I remember somebody leaving, oh, Wolfgang wants this time capsule, uh, I remember somebody leaving presents for me about my house, and one of them was a bag of fertilizer, so I used that, uh, around the blue pansies, and thank you very much to whoever it was that did leave that for me. Uh, so maybe, just maybe, we'll have another hybrid? Uh, delivery for you, buddy. Here you go. Okay, you wanted me to buy that from you? It's probably a shirt, but okay. Are you excited to see what's inside? Okay. A jester tank. Well, thank goodness he did not put that on. I like his uh, his default shirt. It's very cute. Unfortunately, the bob in my... Why is this missing? This was not... It... I'm very confused right now. Why? I don't remember moving those. Anyway, um, uh, the Bob in my other town actually is wearing a really ugly orange shirt right now. You, I have a thing for you. Uh, so I'm happy to see this Bob is still with his original stuff. Uh, okay, so I have a capsule for you. I dug it up ahead of time. Don't mind me. Didn't mean to, just kind of happened. 
Did you dug up the time capsule for me? Yeah, I completely forgot about it, thanks. Let's open it together then. Looks like I somehow put a pink- oh, please don't change. Uh, hey future Wolfgang, hopefully by the time I dig out this time capsule I'll have aged enough that I look good in this outfit for once. You- you will not look good ever, buddy. I'm sorry, I love you, but- don't change, don't change, don't change. Okay, good. Yeah, give that shirt to me. I will dispose of it properly. <laughs> okay, good. I was worried. Uh, let's just check over here, make sure we aren't missing any fossils. Not that obviously we really need them for the exhibit anymore. It's more so bells. <laughs> more greedy uh, intentions. How much space do I have right now? Four? Okay. That's not bad. You know, maybe Pajmina is sending me those letters because I haven't spoken to her for a while. I don't know what it is, but I feel like she's never around when I'm playing. I'm assuming she's just one of the villagers that hangs around in like the stores a lot, so I rarely see her, which is kind of awkward, considering she lives so close to me. Um, is there anything up here I should know about? No? Maybe? No? Oh, hi Marshall! Hey, so what are you gonna do with that shovel there? Uh, dig up a pitfall. You're so audacious! Audacious! Uh, giving me the heads up about your pitfall related scheming. You're a fiendish little girl, aren't you? Oh my goodness. I needed an adult. I am an adult, but I still need an adult. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> okay, uh. Da, da, da. You know what? Let's head up here. We already started from that side, so. It just makes sense. This little area is actually coming on really nicely up here. Eventually, obviously, these will not be here anymore. And this tree will be cut down, I think. We can't, unfortunately, put it there because it's too close to the edge. So the trees will cut off here, and this will obviously be changed into a pine tree. Actually, no. That will be cut down and a pine tree will be put right there. But uh, otherwise, I kind of like that little uh, pathway up. I think it's kind of cute. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with this space right here yet, but we'll see. I feel like I've already missed a fossil. This is bad. I always do this to myself. Uh, nothing here, I don't think. I swear, like the after 7 p.m. music, every single one until maybe up until about 11 p.m. Makes me nervous. It reminds me of trying to hunt the tarantula and the scorpion, and I get like anxious about it, even though I know that they are not out yet. They have, like, you know, a 0% chance to spawn. I still get nervous. I still get anxious. As a kid, those freaked me out, and especially in Wild World. It was my first time encountering, uh, I think it was the tarantula, and it freaked me out so badly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I nearly threw my DS. Okay, there we go. Four fossils. Awesome. Not that, you know, it, it matters that much, but... Okay, perfect. So I think I'm a little bit late to visit, like, you know, the, the, most of the shops, if not all of them, unfortunately. Other than, you know, retail, obviously, which stays open until, like, 11, I think. Yeah, all these are gonna be closed, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Oh, and that's closed too. I think during the live stream we actually paid off uh, our most recent home loan, so we should probably uh, talk to Nook about upgrading our house again. I just keep forgetting. Uh, let's assess a fossil. Oh, 
Uh, no thank you. Okay. Um, I updated the dream address just the other day, so I'm not really in a rush to do that today. Uh, the club LOL is actually open right now, but it's not Saturday night. I need to film late Saturday night one time. Uh, so that we can go to, uh, KK Slider Show. Actually, have I done that during the Let's Play? I know I've done it during a stream, I think? Maybe? I can't even remember. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see here. Let's sell off this stuff, and then I guess we could... Ooh, actually, I can't... I, I know for a fact that I think... Actually, it's either 11 or 12 uh, in the AM and, and afternoon, respectively, uh, that you can start working at the roost. I can't remember what time he stops allowing you to work part-time. Like, in the evening, I mean. Or if there isn't even a... Like, if there is a cutoff like that, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I guess we could check that out, though. Get rid of all of those. Thank you. We should probably, uh, spend a couple of these bells. Hello there, buddy. Hey, listen to this, Crystal. I know this is a bad habit, but when I see some diner tile, I gotta buy. Oh, buddy. That is- that's just kind of weird, but I love you, so it's okay. Do you want me to take it off of you? Okay, whatever. I don't mind. Bob, don't you get jealous now. Alright, you're still number one, it's okay. Oh, look at him. <laughs> he doesn't like that I'm talking to someone else. Okay, uh, actually, before I forget, let's go check on this, uh, potential hybrid breeding spot. Um, hopefully we got something, although, you know, we haven't had much luck so far. <sighs> That's so frustrating. Just no luck. Really no luck. Alright, so I'm going to try something that another person said, which is side-by-side, side, which I've never had, like, you know, the best of luck with. And then someone said the gold or the silver watering can will be better chance than the gold watering can. I don't know how much faith I put in that, but you know what? This is a let's play. I'm going to be taking your suggestions like that, and I'm going to try it. And uh, if it isn't true, then, like, you know what? It's debunked officially. If it is true, then yay, we figured it out. Either way, it doesn't hurt to try. Uh, okay, let's see. Where did I put it? Did I even get the silver one yet? Oh yeah, I did. Snap. Right, the other day I was saying that we hadn't- we had got that- no. I was saying that we we needed to get the silver water and can when in reality we we're going for the golden axe. Right. <laughs> man, oh man, did I get a good number of comments correcting me on that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna give this a shot. We're gonna see if it works. I will get back to you, uh, I guess during the next episode on whether or not it works. Be nice if it did. Oh gosh, it's so weird watering them. <laughs> I'll water that too, just for good measure. Apparently, and I've had success with this personally, Jacob's Ladders do help with breeding uh, hybrids, so that's pretty much why that's actually still there. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna leave the watering can for now. Oops, excuse me, buddy. Hey, your house is kind of in the way, I'm not gonna lie, Marshall, I love you. But it is kind of in the way. There we go, that little spot right there been bothering me for a while. Okay, so let's go down to the roost. Let's see if maybe, just maybe, there's some work for us. If not, we can just grab a cup of coffee. No harm in that. Oh, Phyllis, hello. 
What do you want? Don't tell me you want to sit next to me. Oh gosh, so rude. Uh, can I help out? Hello, welcome. How can I help you? I want to work. All oh, right, you have to make a coffee. Oh, good, awesome. All right, uh, I don't have my list with me. I wrote, I started writing down a list from last time of what the villagers like. Uh. And I don't have it with me right now, easily accessible, and I'm pretty sure I had pashmina, which sucks. One coffee, um, make sure to use lots of milk. Arsic, so that means lots of milk and I think it's three sugars. You guys have actually told me, and uh, I did look that up, and it's true that, um, the milk and the sugar are always going to be even. So if they want a lot of milk, it's going to be three sugar. If they don't want any milk, it's going to be zero sugar. Something like that. Oh, this is where I'm gonna get confused. I'm gonna guess, like, mocha. Um, lots. Three. Hopefully this is what she likes. <laughs> I don't have any clue about the, uh, the type of coffee. Nice! This is great, just the way I like it. You obviously know your way around a cup of coffee art, so we guessed correctly. Nice! Rister, this one's gonna give you some competition. Oh, did you see his little shocked expression off to the side? That was so cute. Poor guy. Uh, next up, O'Hare. I have no clue about him. Can you get me some coffee? Let's see. Oh, uh, no milk in it. Gotta watch my dairy intake. Uh, Kilimanjaro? I'm probably wrong. Uh, no milk. And I guess no sugar then. Surprising. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. But if I had a suggestion, it would be that the right type of coffee beans would make it a bit better. Okay, so it wasn't Kilimanjaro. We know that much. <laughs> but we got the other bit right, which is, you know, not that hard to do, but... <gasps> oh! Do you like all the milks and sugars, buddy? No, really? <gasps> Maybe we're not soulmates after all. <laughs> oh, you're gonna... Oh, uh blend. I don't know. I'm gonna get it completely wrong. None at all. And none at all. I am so surprised. Please get it right. Please get it right. <laughs> Whoa! Tasty. It's just one thing. The coffee beans might be- Oh gosh, I thought I got it right. <laughs> ah! You can't fill my taste buds. I'll be back, so I'll see you then. Okay, and then is it- yeah, it's an NPC, so Tom Nook. No clue what he wants. One cup of the Kilimanjaro to go. Oh gosh, okay, so now I have to guess. Uh, Kilimanjaro. Uh... What? Uh, regular two what it's not a brimmy with milk and it's not okay so he likes full milk full sugar <laughs> Hmm. Well, it's okay. After all, Kilimanjaro is still my favorite. Thank you, anyway. Oh, I tried. I tried. <laughs> it seems the customers have all been taken care of. Good work. Why don't you call it a day? Hope you have made a fair number of customers leave happy. Not bad. Not a bad day's work. I'm gonna pay you in good coffee beans. You can make a strong cup with those. Uh, 
Come back and help me again sometime. I am surprised. I did not think Tom Nook would want full milk, full sugar, but... Oh well. I'm really upset that I didn't get Bob right as well, man. You guys... Me and Bob are supposed to agree on everything. <laughs> no. Um, okay, let's see here. I figure what we can do to finish off this episode is probably just go around and uh, see if there's any maybe fish or probably more than likely uh, bugs around town that we have not actually caught yet. I think we are actually missing, I know actually, we're missing the stink bug, um, the or orchid mantis, I think, which is the one that only appears on white flowers. Um... A good number of others as well. So I'm going to be primarily looking around for those, although I don't see any on these trees, so let me check out what this fish is. I think we're actually pretty good in terms of fish, especially river ones. I focused quite hard on that while doing the streams and such. And you guys have no idea how darn relieved I am to have caught both the coelacanth and the uh, the oarfish all in one go. Now we don't have to worry about those. Those are the two hardest fish for at least me personally to catch. I don't really have much trouble with the sharks or anything. Where did it go? <laughs> so uh, so yeah, that feels pretty darn good. We just need to you know catch the smaller ones. Uh, I think we also have not caught a tadpole in this town. I can't actually remember off the top of my head right now. Uh, I'm kind of mixing up my two towns a bit, I think. Which, you know, happens quite frequently these days, actually, now that Rose Wolf is actually becoming a bit more of, like, you know, a proper town and not just uh, a work in progress, as it were. Pretty sure I have that. Gaston, did you want that carp? <laughs> You're kind of staring at me, buddy. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, I'm, I'm still picturing the Tarantula and Scorpion episode, you guys, this summer. Ugh. Not gonna enjoy doing that. <laughs> okay. So, we're not seeming to get anything new from those. I have to keep an eye on the white flowers. They're so annoying to catch these because they get scared very easily, it seems. And they're kind of hard to spot. So by the time you notice them, it's usually because they're flying away, at least in, in my experience. Uh, let's go over to the pond over here. Uh, I don't think that's tiny enough to be a tadpole. Nope, definitely not a tadpole. Oh well. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should just focus on bugs, I guess? I know there's also the spider that we haven't actually found yet. Um, trying to think of what else. I know that there's a good number of bugs. Uh, some diving creatures. We're actually doing pretty darn good in terms of diving creatures. There's a couple that, like, are available all year round. I think, like, the giant isopod. Uh... But they're, they're like really rare to, to encounter, I think. That or they're always the ones that swim under the thing for me, either or. Oh, hi! It seems some people find me a little intimidating. I guess those ones think I'm kind of scary. So I was thinking maybe I could stand and soften up a bit. You know, change the way I talk to people. Oh no, I'm not changing it unless we're on stream, dude. <sighs> Probably not, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, but seriously, I, I enjoy letting you guys choose uh, the catchphrases and stuff like that. It, it gives the Let's Play just like, you know, a little bit more variety than, you know, if I was the only one coming up with everything. And I like to hear your guys' opinions on things also, so it just kind of works out. Oh, I, don't, I feel like this town is like really devoid of bugs. <laughs> I don't see them that often. frustrating to be honest with you oh, nothing there
I'm also waiting for the bugs that only appear on stumps to start coming out, but I think that may happen in the fall. Not entirely sure about that, but regardless, hopefully I'll be able to catch everything in time. Anyways, you guys, I think looking at the time, I am gonna have to end this episode here. Thank you guys very much for uh, hanging around. Very sorry for the late episode, but I hope you guys enjoy it regardless. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.